Item number SCP-3085, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. World 346 has been delisted from the old school RuneScape official website and game client, as well as all popular third-party clients, with an official cover story of the server being unable to stay online due to engine issues. The Foundation, with the cooperation of JCAX Limited, has acquired the server through a front company and it can only be accessed from within Site-68. A team of five researchers have been assigned to communicate with SCP-3085 while regularly playing the game, which continues to remain connected to the non-anomalous live game and receives regular updates. As SCP-3085 appears to experience sufficiently greater emotional satisfaction when a larger number of players are present on the server, and the game world is otherwise non-anomalous, Site-68 staff who wish to play the game may use World 346 during their off hours. Access to the Ordain Agility course is restricted to SCP-3085 researchers. This arrangement is contingent upon SCP-3085's continued cooperation. Should it refuse to share information with researchers, access to World 346 will be locked out to regain compliance. Possible use of SCP-3085 in reverse amnestic protocols is pending review by O5 Command. Description SCP-3085 is an anomalous entity present in Old School RuneScape, a legacy MMORPG launched in February 2013 by Jagex Limited and based on an August 2007 backup of the game. SCP-3085 takes the appearance of a human NPC with a pale white skin tone and torn black clothes, appearing to float in mid-air above the city of Arden. It is only possible in World 346 while using the rooftop agility course in that city, and apparently cannot move from the spot, though it possesses the ability to see the entire game world. See Interview Log 073. It is labeled in-game as memory, and its exam text is who's though. If a player clicks the talk option and interacts with SCP-3085, the player will say, why are you crying? As the NPC repeatedly uses the cry emote. SCP-3085 will then respond with, Oh, I can't remember anything. During this interaction, neither the player or SCP-3085's names were present in the chat box, and are instead replaced with a black bar. The text used during the conversations is pitch black and in the RuneScape UF font, which is not used for non-anomalous in-game chat boxes. Additionally, SCP-3085 sprite will appear on the right side of the chat box, opposite the side NPCs normally do. After these two chat boxes, SCP-3085's anomalous properties begin to manifest. SCP-3085 possesses the ability to read the player's thoughts and project them onto the dialogue within the chat box. During its initial discovery, these were generally thoughts of distress and confusion from unknowing players. See Discovery Log 002. Additionally, SCP-3085 can periodically gain knowledge of the subject's memories. Typically, ones the subject has forgotten or only has a big recollection of. SCP-3085 then uses these memories in conversation with the subject, using them to try to elicit positive responses while attempting to present them in a way that makes the subject feel good about themselves. SCP-3085 lacks compulsive properties, and any subject interacting with it can walk away or log off from the game at any time without suffering any ill effects. If the subject expresses discomfort or distress, SCP-3085 will express remorse and ask the subject not to leave. Interestingly, SCP-3085's memory recall ability appears to be able to bypass all known amnestic drugs currently in use by the Foundation and other organizations. Note, 
Whether this ability extends to memories lost to other anomalous objects, such as SCP-909, is under investigation. Although SCP-3085 lacks the ability to target and select specific memories from the subject, the memories are generally ones capable of creating a positive response in the context of the conversation. It allows and even encourages those who interact with it to return to it for later conversations. However, after roughly half an hour of conversation, SCP-3085 will refuse to continue interacting with the subject, instead encouraging them to go play the game. Research has determined that SCP-3085 will allow continued conversations after approximately two hours have elapsed, provided that a player has gained either 25,000 total experience or one quest point. If a subject attempts to interact with SCP-3085 prior to the two-hour mark, they will receive the in-game message, he doesn't want to talk right now. If the subject attempts to interact with SCP-3085 without the requisite experience or quest point, it will simply reply, Ha! Not until you play the game some more. Accordingly, Five researchers have been assigned to play Old School RuneScape and interact with SCP-3085 regularly. SCP-3085 was discovered on the 5th of December 2013, when rooftop agility courses were added to the game. Prior to this date, SCP-3085 claims it had existed in the game in the same spot it presently occupies, but had no way of interacting with players or being seen by them. After being reported in game and briefly appearing on the on the 2007 RuneScape subreddit, SCP-3085 came to the Foundation's attention and amnestics were issued to all players, staff members, and subreddit subscribers aware of its existence after IP addresses were procured and the presence tracked down, later expunged, however, the Ethics Committee approved its acquisition given a lack of harm to anyone involved. Access Discovery Log 002 Clearance accepted Why are you crying? Oh, I can't remember anything. What the frick? Greatest glitch ever. Ha! I'm not a glitch. I've been here since the service launched. Wait, did... What I just say appear in the chat? I know it is a little weird, but don't be scared, I'm harmless. Oh my god, what the frick is going on? No, please don't panic. Remember when you were nine years old and you thought a robber was coming, but it was your dad waking you up for Christmas morning? Things that seem scary aren't always. No, no, this can't be real! Player presses the space bar, continuing the dialogue, but does not interact with the game client. No, please come back. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry. Access interview log 073. Note, prior interviews fail to yield any information about SCP-3085's background, as it refuses to answer any information about itself. Instead, responding with, not yet, I like to be a little mysterious. Please, describe how you first came to appear within this game. Well, that's the tough thing. I don't remember much. I know I used to exist outside of it, and used to play it sometime around 2006 to 7. I know something happened that made me stuck here, but that's it. And when do you first come into your present state? When old school launch, I remember nothing if you can remember nothing for a long time. Then suddenly I was here, and I could see tens of thousands of adventurers running over the moonscape, but I didn't just see them, I saw the people playing them. Well, sort of. What do you mean? I saw their memories, I saw the things that happened to them in the past that they hadn't been able to recall themselves, good and bad, and for a while it felt like I was really unlucky because you didn't communicate with them. Well, yeah, but other shutters too. They went on quests, and they talked to each other, and became friends. Sometimes they even did weird stuff, like standing in place, shooting dual spells at rats for hours. Found out that I was up here by myself, until they added their duty course here. 
And that's where we came in. Yep, you know, I'm happy that you let players back into this world, but can you do me another favor? Oh, what might that be? Could you let a few other people up here? I like talking to you guys and all, but I've always helped you remember everything I can. I want to share memories of some of the other players running around. Not knowing why I'm here, not remembering. It's hard. But when I share with people things they thought they forgot, well, it makes forgetting a little easier. I see. Well, that's something I need to discuss with the site director. I can't make any promises, but I'll ask her to look into it. Thanks, Doctor. I really appreciate it.